Good morning and welcome to Washita Mountain Living Co- Morning Coffee Podcast. Man, didn't get much sleep last night. Millie, Waldo, oh, Lily. It's like every half hour they they heard something. They had to go barking and running off. And when Millie starts barking, she just starts out full, full blood curling bark. Oh, uh, and they don't listen. You know, they don't think, they think they're, they're doing their job. They're protecting you, but the coyotes always get them going. And I guess they were out last night, man. So I kind of slept in. It's like 730 now. I just got up about a half hour ago, but I got to go get this mop cut off. So I need to get, get this thing rolling and, and get on down the road and anything else I might need. Shouldn't need any groceries or anything like that, but do got to get gas in the truck. Yeah, and then maybe pick a project to finish, to, to continue on. Um, you know, life's funny. Sometimes our brains trick us into thinking you're still 25 years old and there's plenty of time to get all these things finished and you're still planning more projects when you should be finishing the ones you already started. Um, you know, and in your mind, you're thinking of yourself Years down the road, you know, like the upper deck I built. I, I seen myself sitting up there in the mornings having coffee. Uh, not today because it's 35 degrees, but I've yet to do that. In fact, I put a table up there and I already took that back down uh, to use it for something else. But we, our, our minds trick us into thinking, yeah, you're going to live another 50 years or, or 40 years or whatever it might be. And by the end, before you know it, you're gone, and you got all these unfinished projects. Not saying that's going on with me, it's not, but I am not starting anymore, you know, other than this carport thing, I wanted that, but I don't want to start anymore until I start finishing the ones I got, so I can have those years that I visioned, getting up and drinking the coffee and sitting there and watching the massive amounts of dump trucks go by every morning that we got going on now. Oh, yeah, they drive me nuts. They're... I got on the uh, state transportation department's website because I want to know what's going on. Why, why for the past few weeks we've got all these trucks going down and they're widening some lanes down the road in between here and another town, and which I thought was finished, but I guess not. But anyway, that's good. But anyway, so, you know, I I conjure up all these projects trying to fix this house up. If you, I mean, if I would have just painted this house when I first bought it, it was terrible. Nicotine all over the walls. It was nasty. I had to rip out sheetrock. You could put kills on it and it would bleed right through. So those those years took me, I, I guess I just took my time. Well, a lot of it was money. You know, you can only do so much at a time with the amount of money that you have that you can put towards that. So a lot of them projects, you know, that's why they're still ongoing. That's why I still don't have a floor in this house. Other things became priority to that. And then you have the things in life that turn up like car repairs. Um, You might need to buy a new washing machine. And them kind of things will set you back. But I've been thinking about it. I'm like, man, let's... There is no more five-year plan, okay? The five-year plan went five years over for me. When I bought this, that's what I told myself. In five years, this place is going to be, you know, ten times worth what it is. And it's getting, you know, when you've only paid $10,000 for the property and the house, it's, it's way worth more than that now. But I don't have any plans in the future to sell. This is my future uh, retirement place. But... I am noticing it's getting harder and harder to keep up with it all. And, you know, I'm only 58 years old. So that isn't old, that isn't old to a lot of people. But just 40, 50 years ago, the life expectancy of a man was not that high. And so every year you get after, I think it was, I, have, I seen some video that said 48 years old. That's not very old. So... Do I even want those years where I'm sitting on the porch all day drinking coffee? Because that's not good for you either. 
So I guess I'll just keep doing what I do. Uh, when you have issues like arthritis, degenerative uh, joint disease, things like that, those are things there's no cure from. Uh, carpal tunnel in the hands, you're not coming, you're not going to be automatically cured from them things. If I drop some weight, it does make it easier. But when you have those issues, exercising becomes very difficult. It's painful. And, uh, man, I don't care. I eat once a day most, most weeks. Uh, one meal a day, and I might, you know, I like to keep, like, cans of pineapple uh, in the refrigerator, and I might have that for a snack. Because I don't eat any sweet foods at all. I've cut every bit of that out. But if I eat some fruit that's got the natural sugars, that usually cures it. There's people say, oh, fruit's bad for you too. Well, I, I beg to differ there. You know, fruit, fruit is natural. And I imagine some people, the way their systems are set up, it may be. But I get the kind with the 100% juice. You know, there's not a lot of things in it that are bad. So they say on the label. You know, who's to say that none of that stuff's true? So, and the projects I have are, aren't really big ones, like this office. It's 95% finished. All I got to do, there's a doorway. I've got to put trim up. Uh, that's about it. And then the office is done. The Where I'm going to build the closet, that should take care of that whole area. That shouldn't take me more than a few days if I stick to it and get all the materials I need, which all the lumber I have. Uh, I got to get a few more two by fours from the hardware store, but other than that, I can start on that. But I'm waiting for the carport project to get done. That'll be in Monday, hopefully, and then I can step away from that and get on to something else. But I do got the land pretty much where I want it. It's all cleaned up. Uh, the last big project I had was getting all that junk from behind my older shed. And that's all now cleaned up. Uh, there are, there will always be limbs to pick up, trees that need to come down. But I pretty much got all that done. And then maybe I can work on just smaller things a little at a time. So I have, you know, three hours. If I'm out there when uh, I had help the other day and we were laying out where the carport was going. Uh, and then Jeff came by. We were all standing around. I had to go sit down because I can't, if I sit down for 15, 20 minutes, then I'm fine. I can keep going. But if I've got no chair or something to sit on, which I didn't have out there, it really starts hurting. And i got to sit down. And if I push myself, I can work four or five hours on a project. But what you don't see in the videos is me sitting down every 15 minutes. A lot of people think, oh, he works, he works and works. Truth is, I'm sitting down so much, but then you can get up and work another 15, 20 minutes and push through it. So I need to work on ways where, you know, I'm able to increase the time, if that's even possible, that I can work. A lot of suggestions, you know, oh, try yoga, try, well, you still got the joint, the joint problems, and there's all kinds of Things that people recommend you eat that helps you. Man, I can't retain that knowledge. <laughs> I'd have to write everything down that was good for me. And, and then you got my local, you know, I'm limited. We're limited here. We got one monopoly of a grocery store. So if they don't have it, you got to drive another hour to get it. If you can find it. It is not a big, huge metro area. Uh, even Fort Smith little over, you know, the whole Fort Smith metro, probably a couple hundred thousand people, and that's it. So, that is one thing to consider when you move out of a city uh, that you're used to buying this certain products. You may not be able to find them here. Uh, and plus, you know, this part of Arkansas, we're full. There's no more room for any other people to move here. We're full. So, I'm just putting that out there. Ah. We actually are pretty full on this road. And we got the mountains on each side. You're not building up on top of them. A lot of them, that's national forest. So unless they decide they're going to 
start selling plots of the national forest. We're pretty safe here for neighborhoods and things like that building up. And and people need to people need to get away from that practice of building these huge cookie cutter neighborhoods. Uh, there's so many people, and, and over the years, you know, people migrated away from the country to the city for jobs. Now people are getting fed up with the cities and they're moving out to the country. But we got a lot more people than we did years ago, a lot more. So what we're doing is filling up all these small towns, um, exhausting the resources these small towns have because they're still getting the same budgets. Um, you know, so that creates troubles too. So, so I'm going to try to focus on just finishing the projects I have slowly. If I, you know, if all the projects I have, which will probably never be finished, are finished, then I can enjoy life a little more by just adding a smaller project here. And they all add up, you know, the pipe dream of sitting around on the porch waving it, being that old guy. You all knew that old guy when, when he was young. He'd just sit on the porch and wave at everybody that went by. I don't want to be that guy. So I want to stay busy. And that's why I bought the building, you know, to have a shop to build little crafts and things like that. Do woodworking. Who knows what I'm going to do in that building? I'm not sure. So unless you have the whole plan written in, in detailed instructions, you never know. They change. All right, guys. I thank you for watching. Had much better views yesterday. I know this channel is not going to generate a lot of traffic, especially these talks. But I do think of the people that do enjoy these. Some people like to hear other people's opinions. Um, I'm not one of them guys. I don't sit and watch shows like this um, unless it's something I'm real interested in. You know, I just a lot of channels like my channel have these side channels where they come on and talk. Uh, I don't even watch homesteading channels, guys. I'm not, I don't consider myself a homesteader. I'm just an old guy that bought a house that has been fixing it up for 10 years. I'm not the guy that said, I'm going to move to the country, build my own house, go off grid. I'm not that guy. So them, them kind of channels don't, they don't interest me. Now, I do watch the local, you know, the people I know. I'll watch their, I'll watch their channels. Uh, I, don't guarantee I watch every one of their videos, but I try to watch them. But I'm not interested in, in homesteading. Now, I am into prepping, things like that. But I watch channels that I'm interested in, and a lot of them are history-type related things. I like the Y-Files, that's a good one. Uh, you know, I watch stuff that's funny. We sent, you know, I, I don't care about people moving out, out of the city and buying a place, and that's a good thing that they're doing it. It just don't interest me. So, it's, it, right now, that, that concept scares me. Because I don't <laughs> I think of all the work they got ahead of them. And there's people doing it that are my age, you know. I feel for them, because things are a lot more expensive now, and it's tough. But a lot of them have family. So, if you got a wife and a husband... When you got kids, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, I didn't have anybody when I, for until I got on YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I, I never had any help here, and I only still I only ask for help if I really need it. Oh, I have to edit that out. Oh, there's another one coming. So I try to live as self reliant as I can. But if there's a time restraint, like getting the carport ready and leveled, now that job ended up being a lot easier than originally planned where I was going to put it. So I probably really didn't need their help, but I kind of did because we had to do a lot of shoveling and that, you know, that's not easy on a guy is doing all that shoveling by himself with the gravel. I did about six truckloads of that putting in the garden last year and that whooped my butt and the French drain. All right, guys, we're going to end it here. It's getting too long. Thank you for watching. Happy trails.